I'm often asked, Dave, should I do an open house? And I tell my clients that we can, but I am also open to them about the realistic possibility of a buyer coming from the open house. Statistically, open houses do not frequently produce buyers. They do, I'm not gonna say that they don't altogether, but a lot of real estate agents, and they're gonna get mad at me for saying this, do open houses specifically to try and get buyer's leads those buyers that are potentially coming in without representation, now they can work with them. So they use it as a lead generation tool. I will gladly do an open house because the answer is always no unless you ask. And if we never do an open house, I can guarantee that we'll never get a buyer from it. So I leave it up to my clients. If they are okay with leaving the house for a few hours while I do an open house, I'll gladly do an open house. But if they would rather not leave the house and have nosy neighbors just walking through, looking at what's going on, then I'm happy not doing an open house also. Now, there are other ways that we can do open houses. There's virtual open houses. I do 3D Matterport tours for all of my properties. We can take that Matterport tour and do a virtual open house to where people can walk that house without even physically coming to the house. So there's all kinds of different things we can do with a virtual open house or a regular open house the decision truly rests with you on what you want to do, how you value your time, and how you want your house actually marketed.